welcome to Jodhpur. Now Jodhpur as a city has earned a lot of names for itself, being called the Sun City or the Blue City. When you think of Jodhpur, there are few aspects which come to your mind immediately. For example, the glittering jewels, the vibrant handicraft, the scenic beauty here, forts, palaces and temples. But there's one word that is almost symbolic to the city and that is royalty. I'm in Jodhpur city for one such royal event, but here their humbleness will supersede their majestic side. The centerpiece of the city is the majestic Umed Bhavan Palace. Its grandeur hard to miss. Today, it's been decked up as it readies to welcome guests coming in from across the globe to witness the spectacle of the Jodhpur One World Retreat, a CSR initiative of the Showtime Group to spread awareness on road safety and raise funds for the Indian Head Injury Foundation. Off a taste of true Rajasthani hospitality and splendor. With a snip of a ribbon, the Maharaja of Jodhpur inaugurated the second edition of Jodhpur One World Retreat, which enjoys continuous support of German automaker BMW and the Taj Group. The Jodhpur Art Summit 2015 was held on the sidelines of the main event, adding a fresh new dimension to the retreat and showcasing the works of acclaimed artists. You know, our passions to effect change in this world are not motivated simply by the need, but they're motivated by art, they're motivated by what's beautiful in this world. And these, these musical performances, the, the artistic showcases, you know, that's part of that. What's more important is you're bringing a cause to attention, to global attention, also showcasing India. So you're marrying both cause and compassion with adroitness, with ease, and with giving people infinite pleasure. What's, what can be more spectacular? Indeed, beyond the glitz, this event holds a far deeper meaning, especially for Maharaja Gut Singh II of Jodhpur. It's an ongoing process, we have to do fundraising either this way or directly. Uh, we are hoping to work uh, now more closely with corporates in the CSR. Okay. Now the CSR has become a compulsory. Okay. And I think that's why a vein like this hmm. uh, gets, uh, gets the foundation known. Right. So now ne next time we write to the corporates uh, for the, to use the CSR and give us some funds, they would know about it. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 din, na, da. The evening arrives and brings with it a medley of music, dance and celebration. At the Mehrangar Fort, the royal procession led by the Maharaja himself moves as the chorus of ancient Rajasthani folk music plays on. Thumping drums and the enchanting dancers matching beat for beat. Da, 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 dinna, da. In the backdrop of the splendid fort and overlooking the Jodhpur city, in these courtyards play out the story of valor. Encapsulated by designer JJ Valaya, models walk the ramp in colourful lehengas, saris and sherwanis. The collection featured Valaya's signature embroidery and floor-length anarkalis paired with jackets. Also making statements were the accessories including necklaces and monk tikas. It's 
Hello, Mr. JJ. What a spectacular show that was with the complete vibrant collection as always. But did the, the event, did you design specifically for, uh, for this event? Actually, what I do naturally fits into this environment. Yes, so I didn't really have to work very hard. I just did more of what I do. Plus, you can't go wrong with this. I mean, this is spectacular. Raghavendra Rathore's collection married the sensibilities of ancient Jodhpur with the modern styles. The clothes were coloured in classic royal reds, rust and purple, balanced by starker shades of ivory and black. The designer's collection at his home ground showed his innovative styles, a true example of contemporary meeting classic. What's important is the cause. I think we all are here to really bring the awareness uh, to the Head Injury Foundation and it's my endeavour to support my family in every which way and it's a great initiative and I think uh, uh, people should really join in. I think that's what made it special for all of us here because it's for a good cause. It's kind of more enlightening than just a fashion show. Absolutely. of the event was a performance by celebrated contemporary dancer and choreographer Asted Debo who took the audience's breath away when he twirled on the parapet of the beautifully lit fort. Calling curtains in the day was the Eton Choir that had flown in for a special tribute. What a beautiful and glamorous day it's been so far, with so many renowned legends, the greatest of minds and the spiritual generous hearts all coming together to cause awareness and to generate resources all for noble cause. But there's a lot more to the other side of the break, do come back. Welcome back to the show. Now, if yesterday was all about art, culture, music and fashion, today we shall be moving forward to a common platform where a lot of learned and influential people shall be throwing some light on the subject of road safety and brain trauma that the patient or the patient's family might have undergone. Let's hear what they have to say. Head injury is a major cause of, of death and disability in India. After an accident takes place, uh, as per the Law Commission of India, 50% of injured people die because of treatable injuries or 50% of deaths occur because of treatable injuries. So we're talking about 100,000 deaths that can potentially be prevented if they were to get even basic care on time. And for me, what became very important was what is happening to the victim while the victim is lying on the road. Because if you don't get immediate assistance there, then you will either die during transportation or you'll die inside the hospital. And, and you know, correct me if I'm wrong, 
we have been uh, working very closely with the Indian Head, Head Injury Foundation on a Good Samaritan Law, which will essentially create a supportive legal and ethical environment for anyone and everyone to come forward and help injured persons. We have the highest rate of head injuries in the world, and this is why. And you see there's one helmet, and there are laws that says only the driver should be wearing a helmet. What about the rest? The most vulnerable are not wearing helmets. Most head injuries are not recorded. There are about 500,000 deaths every year in India, but the official st statistic is only 150,000. 30% of these deaths can be avoided with better care in the golden hour. And therefore, uh, a lot of our emphasis is in working on improving this golden hour. One thing which our partner Save Life Foundation have also got into is this road safety awareness. You need to be aware. The concept that head injury is a process and not an event. It is not just the initial injury, but things happen after the injury that we hope to be able to influence. A lot of bad stuff happens to patients even after the head injury. So the head injury is not just an isolated thing, but a lot of other things happen to it and perhaps you cannot change the effect of the initial injury, but you certainly can influence all of these other things which ultimately lead to a poor outcome. Right now what we're doing is we're working with IHIF at their DCWA clinic in Delhi um, to create a partnership between uh, the outpatient therapy clinic there and our peer mentoring house. The facilities are literally five minutes away. So what we envision this model becoming is, you know, you've heard this, this problem that the, the rehabilitation centers are not there. The facilities are not there. The community is not there. But if we can use peer mentoring, we can take one recovered patient, just one, and through the internet and through establishing more houses like this, you can create nodes of community that can multiply the impact of one rehabilitated patient, one therapist, and you could reach thousands in this way. The whole creation that you see, the whole galaxy, the cosmos. Sadhguru Jaggi Vasudev, founder of the Isha Foundation, rendered an electrifying discourse peaceful, on attaining joyful, peace in life. If you are not peaceful, you cannot enjoy the food that you eat, you cannot enjoy the work that you do, you cannot enjoy the family that you live with, you cannot enjoy the spring blossom that's happening in your garden, you cannot enjoy any damn thing in your life. So I'm asking you, is peace the ultimate goal of your life or is it the most fundamental requirement of your life? After the thought sessions on awareness and awakening, it was time to move to the Imed Bhavan's Baradri lawns for a glamorous evening infused with soulful music and performances. A four night stay for a couple in the Taj Cape Town's Regal Tata Presidential Suite at the Quatre Francais. Let's start this off. The evening began with an unusual charity auction hosted by international auction house Christie's. Along with the artworks going under the hammer, the patrons also bid on exclusive experiences as a part of the 30 minute long auction. Here's Judy Dench, right, a great opportunity. Four lakhs, five, thank you very much, sir. You can now bid him, all right. Five lakh, thank you, and five lakh. Five lakh, five. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is Downton Abbey we're talking about. Six lakh, thank you very much. I'm gonna buy you get this evening. At six lakh. Thank you, sir, with Johnny. Nine lakh. At nine lakh. Nine lakh. Would you like ten? So thank you, KP. This beautiful evening shall soon be concluded with the grand finale where we will witness great and stellar performances from the Vienne Chamber Orchestra and the Shillong Choir. Apart from that, the legendary Bollywood hero Amitabh Bachchan shall soon be joining on stage to add weightage to this cause which is very close to his heart.
performance by Shillong Chamber Choir, whose founder Neil Nongkin Ri was recently conferred with the Padma Shri, set the mood for the evening. <laughs> were accompanied by Vienna Chamber Orchestra belting out a mix of popular English songs, Latin dance beats and enchanting Bollywood numbers. The highlight of the Jodhpur One World Retreat was when legendary actor Amitabh Bachchan took to the stage to recite poetry in his own inimitable style. The great thespian had readily agreed to be a part of this noble cause and so aptly it was him who brought the curtains down to a spectacular high with his mesmerizing voice. Celebrate your health because everyone is not healthy. Celebrate your freedom, because many have no freedom. Celebrate your education, because everyone is not educated. Celebrate your meals, because many have no meals. Celebrate your shelter, because everyone is not sheltered. What I mean to say is, be grateful, because you live great. Well, the event at the One World Retreat in Jodhpur has been completely satisfying and fulfilling. Well, unfortunately, it's time to end the show now. Let's hope that the event is as fulfilling and satisfying for the noble cause that it's been initiated for. For now, take care and goodbye. I'm a bird.